I'm Galen Folk. I'm one of the first year residents here at Penn State Dermatology. I'm sitting down with one of our program directors, Jocelyn Kirby, to have a talk about the program. So Jocelyn, some questions for you. Is that all right? Absolutely. Great. Question one. What makes Penn State Dermatology so unique? The first thing I thought of was the way that our education is set up for the residents is primarily you are taking care of your own patients. We have continuity clinic The primarily not primarily, most of the time that you are in clinic, you're seeing your own patients. And so rather than having you rotate through different attendings clinics and seeing their patients, and not necessarily having a good feel of how the disease began or how it progresses or how treatment affects the outcome of disease, monitoring for side effects of your treatments, I think that you lose some of that when you're in and out and in and out of a different attendings clinic. So you really gain an appreciation for how to work through a differential if you're not sure of what something is, how to work through treatments and what might work for a person based on their insurance or their comorbidities, and then how to manage the person through that treatment. So I think continuity is a huge strength of our program because you leave residency knowing how to manage people overall long term or through short-term disease. The other thing I think that makes us very unique is our sense of community, not just in our department. From the day that you enter, I feel like our residents, it, it's not so much a hierarchy as we truly work together as a team to take the best care of the patients that we have as possible. Uh, and then also the sense of community in the Hershey area. It's a great place to live, to have a family. Uh, our patients, I genuinely enjoy the people that I take care of, and I love hearing their stories, and uh, I feel very lucky to live and work here. Yeah, I really value getting to see the same patients over and over again. I get Absolutely. to know them. I get to become a part of their life, and I, I really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And they appreciate it, too. Yeah. And it's not a lot of programs you get to call your program director Jocelyn. That's true. We don't really use titles here. Mm -hmm. So I think that that just adds to the sense that um, Although we supervise you, we are a team and we work together. Absolutely. All right, next question. In what areas do you see opportunities for growth in our program? And what is slated to change? So opportunities for growth for the program is that we're considering increasing the number of residents that we take each year. So we currently have three residents a year. So our total program is nine residents. We also have a dermatopathology fellow. That fellowship has been around, I, I believe, for three or four years. I believe uh, Catherine is our fourth fellow. And we may increase the number of residents to four a year. And we are certainly looking for uh, specifically training great residents, but we'd also like to encourage residents to go on to become physician scientists. And so that's a new track that we're adding to our training program. Other things that we'd like to see change is access is a huge issue, and so we're always thinking creatively about how we can make dermatology and our services available to more people throughout central Pennsylvania. Absolutely. All right, great. Yeah, it's, a, it's an environment that has a lot of rich support for academic pursuits, so I think that that focus on physician scientists is very well supported. Absolutely, and that brings up that we talk about changes in the program, but I think that there are huge changes that can take place in the person as they go through the changing, or rather through uh, training. And uh, so during training, I think your opportunities are not just to be a learner, but to be a teacher. So we have a very active medical student rotation, we go to other departments, and so there are great opportunities for residents to be teachers. There are opportunities for our residents to be researchers, to be involved in clinical research or basic science research. So uh, certainly I think there are a lot of uh, opportunities for the program to grow, but great opportunities for the residents to grow. Excellent. All right. Next, what's the structure for lecture and learning here at Penn State, and who teaches? We touched on that a little bit, but maybe well, we can expand. Well, why don't you let them know? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's great. Every morning we have a morning report and a lecture series, and it's taught almost exclusively by attendings, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, we certainly have uh, periodic lectures that are taught by one of the senior residents, 
it's always great. Peer learning is critical. Mm -hmm. uh, we learn from each other in clinic every day. That's uh, true. I think probably my favorite part about the program so far is being a first year, there's, there's a lot to learn. The learning curve is very steep, and I can always turn to one of my senior residents and say, I really am not sure how to do this or what to be thinking here. Mm -hmm. And there's always somebody who's uh, not only able to help, but very willing to help. And it's such a supportive atmosphere. We certainly have structured lectures from attendings. We have structured uh, learning from our seniors and uh, lots of unstructured learning opportunities all the time. And I think that's true that learning takes place in so many different uh, avenues that it's not just the formal lectures each morning, so Monday through Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. Uh, the residents are in a learning, learning session, so whether it's a laboratory or a lecture. Um, that those sessions are taught by attendings primarily, and it may be attendings from our department, it may be dermatologists from other departments, so we try to invite other lecturers so you can get a, a different flavor of uh, how problems are approached. We have uh, people from other departments within Hershey come to speak to us, so we always try to invite the gastroenterologist, the rheumatologist, infectious disease, areas of medicine where we might overlap and we just want to make sure that we're up to date on those areas where mm -hmm. we complement each yeah. other in different fields. That's a great point. We just had a lecture from plastic surgery this morning. That's right. Excellent. Okay. And my last question, uh, Jocelyn, is what do, our what do our graduating residents choose to do? Um, are our residents successful in achieving their goals? They're always successful. And they can have a lot of goals. So uh -huh. I, I don't feel like the goal of our program is to turn everybody into a certain kind of dermatologist or a certain type of person. Our goal is to facilitate your interests, to help you have a broad variety of experiences so that way you are able to make the best decision for yourself. And uh, so I look back at the last 10 years worth of residents. We had 30 residents finish the program. Half of them went into a community or a private practice, and the other half went into some variety of academic practice, so whether they were clinical instructor or on a tenure track, so half and half, roughly. Um, there were 11 residents who chose to pursue a fellowship, uh, primarily procedural, uh, a few that went into pediatric dermatology, and all the people who decided they wanted to do fellowship training were successful, so we have a 100% match rate for that. Sounds like a pretty good track record. Yeah, well, it's it's nice that we also have a very significant number of people that want to go out and just be great clinical dermatologists. And whether they're teaching patients or teaching residents, they're still doing great clinical care and education. Excellent. Well, that's all the questions I have. Thanks for taking the time to answer them for me. Thanks, Jess. Gail. You bet.